on Tuesday, September 3rd, two days ago, Infowars.com put out an emergency news release because a high-level source at an Air Force base in West Texas, where the B-1B bombers are located, told us that secret mothballed nuclear weapons that weren't even supposed to be on the base were brought out of mothballs and loaded on trucks. And the police said, where are these going? Nobody's signing for it. The base commander simply gave orders, and everybody knew that this was completely irregular and that there had been a big controversy a few years before when this happened in Minot, North Dakota with cruise missiles. And so they were asking questions. And the truck drivers said, all we're told is this is going to South Carolina, and we don't know where it goes from there. Now, Anthony and I went on to speculate about this being used for a false flag, not just a strike in the Middle East or on Russia, and that missing warheads could be used to basically hold the East Coast hostage, or could be blamed on a foreign enemy, or could be used for a coup d'etat. And now, ladies and gentlemen, news tips came in today pointing out that Lindsey Graham, the senator from South Carolina, that day gave speeches saying that South Carolina and their ports were targets of terrorists and that they would probably be hit by atomic or hydrogen bombs if we didn't immediately invade Syria. Incredible, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you take down a free country, is you have criminal elements within it that hold the nation hostage to terror, that build a police state grid in the name of fighting terror, and then hold that threat over the public if they don't give in to your demands just like they got caught staging a false flag with the chemical weapons in Syria. Now they're desperate. And now we know that they're actively fear-mongering against the population on the East Coast. And on top of that, there's a giant FEMA drill that starts next week that runs for more than a month simulating terrorist attacks on the infrastructure and the power grid. They're going to have riot police out on the street. They're going to have checkpoints. They're going to have drills at nuclear power plants. All of this going on on the East Coast while this highly irregular disappearance of warheads has happened. And remember, back in 2007, we had missing cruise missiles flown out of the Dakotas down to Louisiana, and it was a national scandal. You do not have warheads that are not accounted for just accidentally being shipped places. This is unprecedented and is undoubtedly the most dangerous story we have ever covered. I do not like covering this. I do not like where this goes. My gut has never uh, been telling me that something uh, was was more dangerous than this. This is incredibly important because the entire world is waking up to the globalists that have hijacked America and the West and that are pushing us towards world war. Only 9% approve in a Reuters poll for strikes on Syria. The, the NRA is suing the NSA for spying on gun owners. It's all starting to come out and the tyrants are desperate. This could be their false flag to bring in full martial law. Or they could be threatening the rest of the Eastern establishment with nuclear blackmail if they don't go along with this. Regardless, this is big. Because our source has now gone dark. We're, we're unable to get a hold of them. Uh, this is extremely serious. We're going to go now to Anthony Gucciardi's breakdown of this report after we show you a clip from Tuesday where we speculated about what the missing nukes could be used for. Who knows what they're actually wanting to do with this nuclear weapon, this nuclear warhead. We could stop a potential false flag scenario inside the United States right now by exposing this. They I'm glad, very well said. I'm glad you raised that because we have the case now seven years ago, Minot, North Dakota, the missing cruise missiles mm -hmm. that weren't signed for, and a bunch of people on the base this then is got the, killed. seems like the exact same thing because they denied it too. And we're going to play one we called the actual Air Force Base. Sure, they denied the it. But they denied it back in 2007 as well when those nukes went missing. They said that they weren't missing, they weren't there, they didn't exist. And then they later admitted it. This seems the exact same thing. There was no signature. That's right. They later, they later said that it was just a mistake. Yeah. That, oh, we, we didn't sign properly. And then a bunch of people on the base committed suicide or died. So, again, the, the shadow government wants to be able to disappear some nukes that they can then maybe detonate, blame on Russia. 
Blame on American patriots. This could be a globalist coup to hold D.C. hostage. I mean, this is huge. It's going to South Carolina. Maybe the nukes are going to be deployed uh, into D.C. I mean, there's no telling with these globalists. Very important. We're going to cover it more on the radio tomorrow, 11 a.m. Central, Infowars.com. We can beat this, folks, if good people stand up. Alex Jones signing off. Just moments ago, I came across a bombshell mainstream media report that not only confirms what we told you two days ago about the secret nuke transfer that was off record, authorized by higher ups, potentially Obama, but literally scared me. I read the title of this. I read this report. I didn't want it to be true. I kept reading it. I read it probably 50 times before I was confident enough to talk about this. It scares me. It literally scares me. This is potentially one of the most important reports I've ever done in my entire life. Everyone needs to listen to this. Everyone needs to share this. Let me preface this. Yesterday, actually two days ago, we reported on, the same day this following report came out, this high-level source, which is 100% confirmed, has repeatedly been correct in the past, super high-level military source, telling us that Dias Air Force Base in Texas, in West Texas, is transferring was transferring on September 3rd nuclear warheads off record, no signature. The text says that Dias is beginning to move out nuclear warheads today. He got a tap and he said that it's the first time they've even acknowledged nuclear weapons since the 80s. And key point here, no signature was required for the transfer. It was all off record. This is a black ops movement of nuclear warheads. Now this is where it gets key. They were shipping them to South Carolina. South Carolina, okay, this is what the high-level military source told us, that they were shipping these nuclear warheads to South Carolina. Now, why is that important? This new article you'll see up on screen, screen from CBS, Lindsey Graham, Senator Lindsey Graham, has come out and said, nukes in the hands of terrorists could result in bomb coming to Charleston Harbor. Specifically, he's saying that if we don't attack Syria immediately, if we don't go in and have military action in Syria, we could have a nuke blow up South Carolina. It's amazing. Look at this. He says that if there is no U.S. response to Syria, Iran will not believe America's resolve to block Iran from developing nuclear weapons. He then says those nuclear weapons in the hands of terrorists could result in a bomb coming to Charleston Harbor, South Carolina, exactly where we told you they were moving the secret black ops off the record no transfer, nuclear warheads, the exact day this report came out, the exact day he said this. He's telling you, he's telling you, he's telling you that if we don't go to Syria, if we don't start bombing Syria, then these nuclear warheads, they're, they're going to have terrorists get these nuclear warheads and blow up Charleston, South Carolina. They're going to blame it on Iran and Syria as a motivation to go to war. Only 9% right now are willing to go to war, want to go to war. They can't have that. Lindsey Graham is willing to sacrifice South Carolina, or maybe he actually got intel from higher-ups in the black ops offices that there's a nuke coming and you better watch out, and he's warning them because he says he's working to convince South Carolinans wary of the war that the situations in Syria and Iran are linked. Graham says Syria could destabilize the entire Middle East and again goes on to talking about how a nuclear weapon is likely to blow up Charleston, South Carolina. We're going to do a follow-up report on this. Everyone needs to get this out immediately. This plan is now exposed. This is bombshell, massive, breaking news. As we told you yesterday, high-level military source confirms nuclear warheads taken from Dias Air Force Base, transported to South Carolina. Now Lindsey Graham says if we don't go to Syria, South Carolina is going to be nuked. A nuke is going to blow up in South Carolina, he's telling you right now. He's warning the citizens. Get this out everywhere. I'm Anthony Gucciardi of StoryLeak.com, working with the InfoWars Network. Get this out. In closing, I want to be clear about something. I totally agree with what Anthony just said. This is the biggest story we've ever covered. And we have these military and law enforcement sources that come to us because they know that we are unfiltered and that we will release key information, and that we're not intimidated by the attack on whistleblowers in the press, because I have sworn to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, no matter what happens. But we do need your prayers and your support, and we need you to get this article out to everybody you know, because as Jim Garrison famously said, they said, why are you still alive? And they've killed hundreds of people in and around the Kennedy uh, assassination. He said, because I stay in the spotlight. 
We need this info to stay on the spotlight. And we need to pray for the scales to fully come off the eyes, not just to the American people, but the people of the world. And in closing, I want to thank the military and law enforcement sources that are patriots and that understand what's happening, who are speaking out about the false flags in Syria and who are speaking out about potential mega false flags, nuclear false flags here in the United States. This is history happening right now. Get this report out to everyone you know. And Lord willing, we'll be back on the radio 11 a.m. Central tomorrow at Infowars.com breaking this down. This is way above my pay grade. I'm in over my head big time. But so is everybody else. The establishment doing this is in over their head. They look scared, and they should be, because regardless of what happens to us and regardless of what you do with those nukes, the truth's now out there. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you get the word out on this right now. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show.